And now we are going to talk about trigono femorale, bondage of the triangle above ligamento inguinale, laterally musculus artorius, medially musculus adductor longus. Musculus iliopsoas and musculus pectineus form the floor of the femoral triangle, creating a depression known as the fossa iliopectinea. The skin in the area of the femoral triangle is thin and mobile. Subcutaneous tissue contains blood vessels, lymphatic vessels, nodes, and cutaneous nerves. Superficial arteries, usually located under the intrinsic fascia, emerge through the fascia grivrosa and the hiatus of venus. Blood supplies and venous outflow contains arteria vena epigastrica superficialis, arteria vena circumflexa ilium superficialis, arteria et vena pudenta externa superficialis et profunda. The venous afena magna ascends from the apex of the femoral triangle to the hiatus of venus and drains into the vena femoralis, having many branches near the saphenous cleft. Innervation about the skin of the femoral triangle is innervated by cutaneous branches. Below the medial part of the ligamento inguinale, rami femoralis, nervus genito femoralis. Below the spina ilia canter superior, nervus cutaneus femoris lateralis. Along the inner thigh to the patella, ramus cutaneus nervus obturatori. Lymphatic drainage. The subcutaneous tissue contains three groups of superficial inguinal lymph nodes collecting lymph from anterior abdominal wall below the umbilicus, external genitalia, bottom of the uterus, lumbar and glial regions. skin of the anal triangle of the perineum. Nodes, nor inguinalis superficialis inferioris, nor inguinalis superficialis supermedialis et superlateralis. Lymph then drains to the deep inguinal nodes and subsequently to the nodi lymphoide iliac externi in the pelvic cavity. Fascia lata fuse to the ligamento inguinale at the top and continues into the fascia glutea at the back, surrounding all the thigh muscles, forms the tractus iliotibialis of the outer thigh, creates isolated compartments for superficial muscles and provides three intermuscular septa, laterale, mediale, and posterior, dividing the superficial space into three facial beds. Compartmentum femoris anterius for extensor muscles, posteriors for flexor, Mediale for adductors muscles. The femoral triangle is located in the anterior facial bed. Subfacial layer, lacuna musculorum, outer two or three of the ligamentum tinginale, separate from the lacuna vasculare by arcus iliopectinius. Contains the musculus iliopsoas and nervus femoralis. Boundaries anteriorly by ligamento inguinale, and medially by arcus iliopectinius, posteriorly by cresta pubica. Lacuna basorum contains the arteria et vena femoralis and ram, rami femoralis nervus genito femoralis, boundary same as musculorum et sept, medially by ligamento lacunale, in Kim Bernard's ligament. The femoral artery can be compressed here to control bleeding. Fascia lata in the femoral triangle divides into two lamina. Lamina superficialis forms fascia crivrosa, covering hiatus aphenus with marcus fasciformis. Lamina profunda becomes fascia iliopectinia behind the femoral vessels, reaching the musculus, the musculus adductor longus, then rejoining the superficial lamina of fascia lata. Vascular nerve structures of the femoral triangle, basa femoralia, align along the bisector of the femoral triangle up to the apex, surrounded by a dense facial shift. Arteria femoralis is a continuation of the arteria iliaca externa, covered at the atus of venus by margo fasciformes, and lies laterally to vena femoralis. Rami superficialis, arteria epigastrica superficialis, run to the middle of the projection of the inguinal ligament, and then at the anterior abdominal wall towards the umbilicus. Arteria circumflexa ilium superficialis, run to the upper anterior iliac ostium, parallel to the inguinal ligament. Arteria pudenta externa superficialis et profunda, 
run internally to the perineal region. Rami profundi, arteria profunda femoris, a major collateral vessel originates one to six centimeters from the inner ligament. Its branches, arteria circumflexa femoris medialis et lateralis, wrap around the femur. Circumflex rami, medialis, divides into superficial and deep branches, providing blood to bear tight muscles. Lateralis divides into ascending and descending branches, forming ast anastomosis in the gluteal and knee regions. Bene, vena femoralis, lies medial to the artery, joined by vena saphena magna and their fascia equilibrosa. These veins form significant anastomosis crucial for alternate blood outflows from the portal vein system now when it gets obstructed. Nervi and nervi femoralis emerge from the muscularis lacuna, lying separate from the vessels into the trigonum femorali. It innervates quadriceps and pectinus muscles with superficial branches, rami cutanei anteriores, reaching the skin. Nervus saphenus, the longest branch, accompanies the femoral vessels. Relationship and the speed of infections, the speed of pulling and infusions from the sun is possible in all directions along the course of puzzles, nerves, muscles, ducts, facial cases, and fibered slits, transperitoneally, superitoneally, into the pelvis via musculus iliopsoas or arteria femoralis, into the fossa popitlia via the doctor canal or hunter's canal, into subcutaneous tissue via rami nervus femoralis, into the posterior facial bed via arterias perforantes, a facial bed via arteria profunda femoris, arteria perforantes, arteria circumflexa femoris medialis, or to the gluteal region via arteria circumflexa femoris lateralis.